I offer my humble pranam at the Lord's Peter Bhagavan Sri Sathya Sai Baba. So welcome to video lecture on computer programming using Scratch. In this session, I'm going to write a program in Scratch to count the total number of positive and negative numbers in a given list. So basically, we're going to use list. Uh, using list uh, in a given list, how to count total number of positive and negative numbers. So just I'm going to explain this program by using a tool called a Scratch. Okay, now this is a tool. Okay, I'm going to start from the beginning. First of all, uh, we have to create a list. If can, you can go to variable. In the variable, uh, there'll be option, there'll be menu called this, make a list, uh, click on this, then give the name of the list like A, then OK. Now it's going to create one list. So initially it contains empty. There is no element in the list. That's why length equal to zero. Now one more thing is I'm going to uh, read the uh, elements from the keyboard. Elements from the keyboard. Okay, I'm going to start uh, that one. And before that, uh, we have to create a variable. So therefore here, uh, make a variable. I need one a variable uh, to store total number, total number of positive numbers. So let it be, this is one memory location. Okay, to store the total number of positive numbers available in a list. Then next, make a variable. Then I'm going to use one more uh, uh, location to store uh, total number of negative numbers. This is for negative number. This for negative numbers. So this for what? Positive number is for negative number. Then I'm going to use one more uh, variable. We require one more variable. Uh, let it be n because uh, we need somebody to uh, give the index. Okay, that means uh, the position of the first element, a second element like this. So, uh, here I'm going to store the total number of positive numbers, here for negative numbers, here for the index. Then next is we have to accept, we have to read the number from the uh, keyboard. Therefore, we, we can start from beginning events. That is when the green flag is clicked. Okay, then I have to start executing the program. Uh, next, uh, so let it be uh, to make it simple. I'm going to assume uh, for five elements, just five elements. Uh, therefore, uh, here go to control, then repeat. Here 10 is there, just make it five because we are going to read five elements from the uh, keyboard. Uh, then go to sensing. From sensing, that is enter, enter elements elements enter elements to the list to the list okay to the list enter the elements to the list because you have to enter and you have to store in a list and it is here once we execute this particular statement what happen uh, after displaying this message it's keep on waiting then we have to input the number from the keyboard then whatever the number you used to enter that goes to a variable called answer it's a default variable it's already a predefined variable. The next thing is go to variable. Under variable, uh, go to list because we have to add this element into the list. Therefore, add things to A. Here, we have to go to this. That is add things. Which thing that is answer. Answer to list A. Suppose if we execute this, what happened? Suppose here, uh, so click on this. Then I'm going to type, say so let it be 1122, that is 11, enter, 22, enter, 33, enter, 44, enter, 55, enter. What happened? It comes out of the loop. Now the list is created. Okay, I entered the five elements. The five elements are available in the list. Then one more thing, uh, suppose I want to go for next. Suppose if we try to execute uh, this uh, program once again, then here let it be 66, enter. If it's keep continuing. But I want to create a new list. For that purpose, what we can do is, okay, let it be stop. Here we have an option called a delete. Here there'll be something, uh, the delete of A. Okay, and delete, uh, one of A, delete of A. Therefore, I want to delete a complete list. Okay, I want to make it empty. Therefore, go for this. You can put at the beginning. Okay, now once if we execute this particular statement, what happens is going to remove all these elements. It is going to remove all these elements from the list is going to make it empty. Suppose if you execute, let's say the list is empty. Now you can enter any number as you like. 11, enter, 44, enter, 
66 enter, 00 enter, okay, 70, it's like this, 87, then it comes out of the loop. Here we have to write a program to count total number of positive and negative number. Therefore, go to variable, variable, and then variable uh, set, set uh, positive number to zero. So just duplicate same thing. Delete this, I don't want this actually, one minute. Okay, uh, delete. So delete now here uh, here I need this okay let it be a set set this variable negative number to zero then uh, go to set variable once again then here n we have to set n to one because it gives the index what is the uh, index of first element one it always start from one so what is the uh, index of second that is two like three one or three four five like that therefore we have to start from one okay at first location we have 11 second location we have 44 third location we have 60 therefore 66 therefore it gives uh, where we have to get the data that is called the index okay now this is a initialization of all these things are over then delete all of a means once if you execute this particular block it's going to remove all these elements it's going to delete all these elements it's going to make this list empty okay then here what's the purpose of using this particular block it is going to read uh, the five elements uh, from the keyboard and place that element in the list okay now list is ready if you want to uh, read 10 elements then we can make it uh, uh, change it to 10 if you want to read 100 elements just we can make it 100 here so that is the thing next is i just go for the same thing control under control uh, okay once again repeat repeat 10 times here by default 10 is there we can make it 5 because we have to find total number of positive and negative numbers in a given list uh, after this go to if else statement if else statement if else statement here we have to make a decision therefore go to operators under operator go select relation operator okay suppose i'm going to use less than operator then uh, here we have to get first element we have to check whether it's a positive number or negative number if it is a positive then increment positive uh, positive variable positive number count if it is negative increment negative number variable okay now here what i'm going to do is uh, therefore we have to get the first element in the list have to get first element in the list or we have to read first element in the list and uh, therefore what i'm going to do is i uh, just go to variable under variable under variable uh, we have to get first element uh, just we can see here that is item we have to go for this item item one of a now here it is fixed the number is fixed because i want to change the index first i want to get the uh, first element then second element then third element four five therefore we have to go for a variable in this case i'm going to use uh, n as a index uh, to give the uh, address location address memory location address so that's why I just go to variable under variable get this value n that is what is the meaning of this that is if initially what is the value of n n equal to one therefore item one of a what's the meaning of this get item one item one of a, a is the list it contains five elements Therefore, first get first element. That's the meaning of this. Get item one. N is what? What is the value of n? One. Therefore, get item one of a. Therefore, it's going to get first element. Then replace with uh, zero. Now, what is the value of uh, first element here? Eleven. The eleven less than zero. That is false. That is false. Therefore, it does, means I, I'm checking for negative number. If it is negative, increment negative count. Therefore, here go to variable, then change, change, change. Uh, here, that is actually if it is positive, if it, if it is negative, uh, this kind of, we have to execute statement here. Uh, therefore, here this is for positive. Okay. Then duplicate, go here. This is for, this for what? Actually, this is for negative number. This is for negative number. 
okay suppose if the element is negative suppose assume the first element is minus 25 minus 25 less than 0 that is true then come here change negative number by one increment this count by one okay suppose here we know that uh, like let it be 11 11 less than 0 that is false it comes to else block here it is going to increment uh, this memory location by one then go back repeat same thing and after this we have to uh, change the value of n by one because after completion of first element uh, read second element get second element from the list uh, check whether it's a positive or negative number if it is a negative increment negative count if it is a positive increment positive count therefore we have to change the value of n also we have to place that block here that is change uh, n by one okay now your program is completed uh, then we can able to see the answer in this particular location therefore i don't want this particular icon uh, if you want we can hide this that is remote i don't want this i want to check the output here itself uh, therefore i'm going to execute this program the program is completed okay uh, what is the purpose of uh, writing this program actually it's a program to count total number of positive and negative numbers in a given list okay first we have to accept the number from the keyboard uh, okay whatever the number is to type uh, from the keyboard that goes to list okay so depending upon your requirement we can able to change this particular count either it may be fire it may be 10 whatever it may be now just i'm going to execute this okay then click on this uh, green flag i enter elements to the list enter elements to the list then keep entering uh, let it be minus two enter then three enter five enter then minus 77 enter okay uh, then let it be minus 66 enter okay now it comes out of the loop because elements are over it gets over because you are not seeing that particular uh, a block here okay and now here minus 2 minus 77 minus 66 therefore 1 2 3 therefore 3 negative numbers how many negative numbers we have 3 negative numbers how many positive numbers that is 1 2 2 positive numbers okay this is the way if you want you can execute once again then now once again the list is empty okay now what is the status of positive number count 0 negative number count 0 then n is 1 we have to start from 1 then enter 11 22 33 44 minus 55 now what happened here uh, here 1 2 3 4 4 positive number 1 negative number okay you can enter any number so this is the way of writing the program uh, okay to count total number of positive and negative numbers okay here also you can execute say just click on this the so once again enter elements to the list then you can enter any number as you like then this is first number the second number minus 346 something okay then minus 67 then one more number 87 okay and now the five numbers over now here one two three three positive number and two negative number okay i think understood this no so okay uh, thanks for uh, watching if you have any doubts you can write in a comment section okay